Hello and welcome, this is STR Rank, and today I'm playing some more Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. I think I'm going to start off today with doing an arena match just to get some more chips and maybe an upgrade in. Let's check out Ranking 27F, Gun 6 of the Red Guns, of Balaam Group's AC Squad. Sound Boy, Red's life was forever changed when he saw the news broadcast of Commander Michigan's brutal triumphs in the Jupiter War. Red trained through blood, sweat, and tears in order to emulate his idol, supporting his impoverished siblings all the while. When the Balaam admission examination finally came, he won his place in the Red Guns at the very moment he stood to attention to greet the squad. Okay. Oh, I am overburdened. Let's see. I think that I left this for something to fix, and I thought that I had... Um, switched it back out, but let's go back in. I think this is all I need to do to be able to have a fight. Here we go. Let's see how it goes. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 27, rank F, final evaluation. Subject AC, Hermit. Hmm. Call sign, Gun 6, Red. This one has a hand cannon too. Interesting. I'm gonna Hermit switch to that. Evaluation. It's a decent bit less weight than the assault rifle. It might be nice. Main system, activating combat mode. Interesting, totally different arena. I thought for sure we would be inside like the last time. I wonder if this guy's gonna have a specialty of some sort. Ooh, where did he go? Definitely a bit more mobile than the other one was. Yeah, he likes his missiles. My little tank guy is a little slow, I would say, for taking them on. I don't know if that was good. I guess we just need to keep moving. destroyed. This concludes F rank evaluation. Well done. Oh nice. I wonder if this moves me into E. Alright, nice. Got a few goodies. Congratulations, you have surpassed rank F. We are glad to oversee your development as a mercenary. All Mind exists for all mercenaries. Okay, I thought maybe I would get something else out of there, but maybe not. Uh, let's see. Interesting. I wonder if I have to complete more missions before it'll let me advance uh so they're gonna kind of progress lock the os chips and i'm gonna be stuck with that that's a little lame but what can you do um let's see damage received from enemy attacks i can put in four more chips and get up to six percent damage mitigation i kind of feel like doing something like that might be really nice like going way min max on defensive stuff um, let's see what this is. That's the hacking and data and lock stuff. And... Hmm. Let's see. I 
I do wonder how handy that would be. I guess, I guess actually it would be really nice because if I run out of ammo for a particular weapon, I would be able to speed up. Hmm. I think I want to do that. It's a lot of chips, but oh well. Let's see about the boost kick. L3 during assault boost, boost kick. Why not? Alright. Gotta make use of those chips, otherwise they'll just be sitting around doing nothing. Um, let's go back to our AC design, and I do think I want to change out a few things. Um, let's go to the legs. And which one of these is better? I think that it might be automatically sorted by what's better a little bit. Hmm. Not much attitude, recovery, or stability improvements. Energy efficiency is better. And the weight is less. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll stick with the Merlander C3s. Okay, now I know that we're overburdened now, so what can we change? Maybe it's the core. Hmm. Let's see. What's our weight? 26, 50. This one would take us down 6,000. AP goes down significantly, though. Wondering if I should just take my assault rifle down to like a handgun, if that would be enough. Um, it's just our load, though. That's the only piece we need to get down. So, how much of a difference does this make? Okay. So that's a better booster. Just going to necessitate another swap out, probably. Um, capacity goes up, weight increases, or lessens. I think that we do want this one to stay where it is. And let's look at this weapon. Oh, okay. Um, that would be a fair bit less. Looks like I can only do one of two weapons here, so just go ahead and do that and see how close that gets us. And we could go down to the pulse blade, but I don't think I want to do that. Um, how much is the load on this one? 2120, so if we could get rid of that, that would take us down quite a bit. And that might be the best thing to do, because this is an upgrade. Pulse shield versus a dual missile launcher. Um, okay, I still feel like this load is going to be a little too weak, all said and done. Need to get rid of the good head too, so I don't know, it's feeling more and more like I should just keep the legs where they were. Um, what about arms? What else can we do here? These arms are really heavy, almost 17,000. We'll take them down to here. That definitely gets us into a better range. So maybe I can put this guy back on. Yep. Okay, now I'm feeling better. I think that it's really the arms that needed to go more than anything else. Okay. Um, let's see, what is the play video gonna do? Oh, cool. So it has a video for each of the weapons, presumably. Well, that's cool. I don't think I noticed that. What about here? Does it show anything? Oh, it doesn't show anything for the core and the heads, I'm assuming. Alright. Well, let's uh, take it back and see how it does in combat. Let's see about our next place. Um, we will actually let's go to AC data real fast. Oh yeah, and I haven't saved anything yet, so we'll just keep it how it is and um, do another mission. I'd like to get rank on one or two that I haven't finished yet. Wonder if it'll let me play this. Um, 
Ah, uh, it makes you play the base one. Hmm. Could replay Operation Wall Climber though. That'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. Maybe that'll be cool. Let's try. I really like that they made credits uh, an equal trade, I think, in the buying and selling parts as well. That's cool. Main system activating combat Maybe after this mission I'll have enough credits that I can go ahead and sell some stuff. We'll hey, there's that boost gate. <laughs> Take out the Gatling cannons protecting the city and the bounce tetrapod MT further in. There's heavy fire coming from up top. 621. Keep an eye out for cover. Alright, let me see. You'll never climb the wall, Corporation Dog! Coral! Apply with Rubicon! Alright. See if we can get these guys taken out. So Archibus can come in. Alright, this is where I want to have to do a little bit of cleanup because I would like to take out at least two of these rows if I can. Oops. Man, I'll be straight. Let's try again. Oh yeah, I forgot I swapped uh, weapons out, so it's gonna be a little bit different for the right trigger. If I can get the tetrapod over on this side, I don't have to worry about the cannons on the other side. So I think that's what I want to do for my strategy. And I might do that high up tactic, I'm just kind of cheese them. I think I did that last time. Ooh. That was done on me pretty quickly. I see you now when I hit him. You almost got him. Wow. Crazy. I did not expect to do that well. Guessing I'm still not going to get like an A rank at this rate, but maybe I'll get a B. I don't know the times or anything. We'll see though. Based on how quickly I got the tech pod, I'm wondering if the Juggernaut will be a challenge or not. We'll see. Don't get too cocky because it's still pretty challenging. Showing some battle damage on my neon green paint. <laughs> Six two one. I've dispatched a supply, Sherpa. Make sure you 
supply. Okay, I think it's going to do a cutscene, so as soon as it does that, I'll skip it. Oh. Here we go. We should be fighting the Juggernaut any minute now, I think. And we'll go ahead and skip it as well since we've already seen it. That's the Juggernaut. Heavy mobile. Oh! I wouldn't recommend taking it head on. Head we'll just go ahead and do the enemies. I'll distract it while you hit its blind spot. Just unload a bunch of stuff right here. Oh yeah, we're looking good work of this one. Now, I wonder if he has a pulse shield or something on because I see that purple that comes up. It's gonna be what that is. So I wonder if I can get the pulse gun on if it would help or not. Just enough of a recharge while I'm sending in the air and things seem to work out, but yeah, I'm definitely mowing through on this time. This uh, attacking from above seems to be working really great. He's definitely speeding up the time. Left shoulder ammunition at 30%. Right hand ammunition at 30%. Oh. Yeah, we're hardly getting anything on him now. I'm not sure what to do about that. Right shoulder there we go. I think I, that got a hit or two in. backing up. It's a little bit different. Maybe I'd, I should get him back in the corner. I think that might have been what it was uh, doing better. Okay, now we're getting some points. There we go. Come on, get him, get him, get him. <laughs> this button mashing now. <laughs> you can definitely see them falling apart though. That's good. Okay. Well, looks like we ejected our weapon too, so it should be a little bit faster. I like that we have the ammo right count now. There we go. Perfect time. Nice. That was a lot quicker than the first time.
trying to get all my weapons ejected for fun. It's like it makes me keep maybe one of them. Hey, a bee. Nice. Okay. I wonder what the bonus pay factors in, if that's the timing or what. Well, good. That might give me enough money to uh, get some good stuff now. So, let's see. I do think that pulse gun could make the difference. Let's see, 210, 202. I'm just debating what piece do I want the most. New generator could be pretty nice. Recharge goes down, so there's recovery, but capacity goes significantly up. The weight goes way up too, though. Hmm. Now what affects the load? Well, the load goes up though. Why is that marked as a down? Oh, total, I guess that's total load of my machine and the load limit. Okay, I see now. So what makes it load FCS? What does this do? Close range assist goes up, medium range goes up, long range goes down, missile lock goes down. Mm -hmm. This doesn't seem like enough points to be worth it. I don't know. Let's see about this booster. More speed, consumes less energy, dress goes down. I don't know, once again, it just doesn't seem like an improvement to me. Um, 313 for this pair of legs, what about this one? Are these affecting load limits? Yes, they are. So what gives us the most? Um, 60,000, 82,600. Uh, let's see. 82,600. Boost goes down. Looks like mostly it's just speed and jump distance and jump height. I don't know, this sounds great. I'm gonna try it. That leaves us with 570. So now we can probably get one or two cool weapons or maybe some new arms or something. Um, Let's check out. I wonder if I can even equip these without the arms, though. Let's look at arms, I guess. So this one would be an improvement in weight, so. Let's see, this 200,000 pair kind of improvements do we have? have a good amount of defensive improvements, but a total load. Let's see. Arms load. Recoil control. Significantly higher on this one, the 200,000. Um, arms load limit goes up by 7,500. Let's see which one has highest. Yeah, that's gotta be it. We'll do it. Alright, that puts it at 370, and... What else could we put out now? I feel like I need a better right arm weapon. Let's see, a plasma rifle. Sounds pretty cool. Attack power goes up, wow, 30 times. Uh, let's do it and that'll be plenty, so hopefully I can actually assemble this. I've got valid everything. Um, let's start with our legs. There's these guys, yep. And then we have new arms, of course. And we also had the new right arm unit. And we have an energy shortfall now. 
So how can we get past that? Would it be worth taking this down? On 63 attack power. Interesting, the impacts the main part is lower though. We'd still be in the shortfall though. Okay. But not as bad as we were. We'll try it out. And I wonder if this will get us. It's a fair drop down though. Do 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 do. I don't know, we'll do it just to get everything. Um, looks like we're still on the energy shortfall though. Maybe that's where the generator comes into play as far as uh, being able to make for that energy capacity, 2200. Yeah, let's see how much money we have left and maybe we need to get that as well. So let's go back in and check out our generators. And yeah, either of these look like they would have got me up high enough to where I need to be. Um, I'll probably save up for this one, I suppose, they're 250. Let me read what these. Recharge, highest value, more quickly generate, commences recovery after an energy consuming action. Okay. All right, well, I think that we'll go ahead and do another sortie and let's see about a replay in case there's something we want to replay before moving on. I don't know, I'm feeling pretty good with these. Um, we might as well go ahead and do this one. And uh, oh, you have to have the shortfall fixed. I thought you could play it without, and you just had to like watch out for an overheat, but apparently you have to make it work. Okay. Not a problem. Let's see what we can change. Um, this may be enough to do it. We'll just take the booster down. Okay. So, back in here. And let's do a new mission. I'm ready for something new. Boss Arsenal number two investigation. Infiltrate boss arsenal number two and determine why it went silent. Got a job for you, 621. The client is the Rubicon Liberation Front. Here's the briefing. The loss of the wall dealt us a heavy blow. Yet, we believe you are more than a corporate pawn. Perhaps we can even work together. I want you to investigate Baus Arsenal Number 2, a major MT factory in the Bellius region. The Baus Corporation sells to anyone, but they've been essential to maintaining our firepower. Now, their second arsenal has gone silent overnight. If it were only a comms failure, a simple check-in would do. Well, after the Strider, more cautious voices have gained influence. This isn't our finest moment, but would appreciate your help. Okay, let's do it. Some advice before you go, 621. Expect the unexpected. See what we have here. Investigate Baus Arsenal number two. I've been checking the perimeter, and I'm picking up nothing. What happened here? It's a really low ceiling. We're just gonna take it slow and see what we can find.
Oh, these legs don't have an auto boost on them. Interesting. It's too quiet. Hmm. I wonder what this level is going to be about. So, see, am I supposed to go down in there? I don't see a quest marker. Oh, I guess so. But I don't die because of this. Dealing with the AC of some sort. Six two one, watch its shots and see where they're coming from. Ooh. Of course, MDD. Stick to it like glue. You'll lose it if it gets too far. Looks like I already lost it. Where did it go? <laughs> so it's a sniper issue I'm having to deal with here. Hmm. I don't know what to do about this one. Remaining. I have issues if I can't fly. I wonder if I've got a bad configuration for this level. Oh, there we go. That's what we needed. That scared it off, though. Oh, it's using some sort of pulse, I think. like it. Mark your targets to undermine their tricks. One repair kit remaining. There you go. <laughs> Let's see where is this other one at? Where did he go? There we go. I think it probably hopped up here. Nope. Nice. It's tough. Boss fight. Wait, six two one behind you. Yep, it's a double cross. Oh, man. I'm sure I was going to take that one out. Oh boy. There's at least two of them. AP at 50%. Hmm. 
access. No repair kits remaining. Oof. Oh, no. I'm trying to get out of the line of sight so that I can cool off for a second. There we go. Hmm. Wonder if he'll stop me or not. Yep, they're moving. That's cool. And clever. There we go. I think I defeated that one. Right weapons are the best combo to take them out. Hmm. I wonder if I could have unlocked that earlier too. is. itself or something. Uh oh. It has some stealth issues, looks like. Guessing I want to grab my build and race and Oh my goodness. It's got a shield too. Okay. Yeah, interesting. I think I want to have to have the pulse disruptor thing. Um, let's see about that. I don't have enough money. Um, in that case, I'm going to quit the mission and either replay or do some arena or something if it's available. Let's see what's available. Okay, I can't ver can't verify. Can't make progress there. So let's do. 168,000. I mean, maybe that is enough to buy that pulse thing. Let's look. Pulse gun. Pulse gun. I'm going to have an energy shortfall, though. But not this way. Let's do it. And maybe that'll be enough to make a difference. So let's try that. Oh, we need to actually equip it to you. All right, right arm. There we go. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Main system activating combat mode. Yeah, I'm really not sure about this one. Maybe I need to think about uh, using shields as well. I've been the perimeter, but I'm picking up nothing. What happened here? It's too quiet. <laughs> Another observation I had too is I done a respawn. I have no idea how I'm supposed to. Make it through here. Six two one. Watch its shots and see where they're coming from. Of course. M D D. Stick to a light glue. You'll lose it if it gets too far. Okay. 
I need to use a shield, that's what I need. I think that missiles will only take me so far, but I need a shield and a pulse and a shield disruptor. I'm gonna be flying high on this mission, I think. That chewed through it a little bit better than last time. DD. Coded comms. Was that mech behind what happened here? 621. Continue the investigation. Let's see how we do on this fight. All the tiny little cars. <laughs> down. Nice. Yeah. It's feeling good. Down. Keep going and stay sharp. Okay, this is gonna be the pair that shows up behind me. I really need to retain I think one repair kit if possible. Better this time, it looks like. I have to get that pulse shield, it's just too hard without it. Okay, that's one of them down. Much better than last time, but at least we. Oh, still alive. What? Is it three? Okay. Hmm. All clear. Keep going. I'm not sure if that was two or three. I'm not sure how much I enjoy the. Scanning, uh, need. Get down and take a closer look. Might get frustrating after a while, but we'll see. No doubt about it. This water. It contains faint traces of coral. It must have been an underground vein. Mouse was hiding a well all this time. Try to just run that pulse gun like crazy. See if we can take at least one of them down. Six, two, one. Above you. There's one. He's got a shield on.
Well, yeah, without uh, these snipers, that's going to be really tough. I think ultimately though, without the uh, shield, it's gonna get me. So let's go back and we might have to swap out a few pieces. I'm curious now, do I need to have high mobility or just like really good shielding to like make a difference? But let's see. Um, let's go, I think I had something for left back. Yeah, there we go. And we'll hit um, restart from checkpoint. I assume that'll let me have the different build. If it does, that's awesome. I think it did. Oh, that's excellent. I'd love to give this two, three tries. Did a lot better. I don't want to have to go after the small guys first. I think it. Walter is correct. Okay, I think that they were getting. Is there a ledge up here? No. Oh, there is. Okay, let's see where the dudes are going to. Okay, they're getting up on the wall. Three of them. No. Four. You're outnumbered. Pick them off one by one, six to one. It's gonna be so frustrating if I can't get them down. It's gotta be a way though. Here's a ledge. So we'll just pick this guy down if we can. Hmm. Let's keep our shield up. Until we can see the other. There he is. They're coming down now. Heating the shield, that's why I'm not getting it. It's like, where's my shield? Where's my shield? <laughs> All right, let's see. Right hand definition at 50%. Hopefully, we can take this guy out, but geez, so far, not looking too good. All right, where is the other guy? Good. That's another one down. 
I'm not sure if that was the second or third. Oh, good, it was the third. Alright, where is this jerk? Uh, let's see. I can hear him in my headphones, but he's not making enough activity. Ah. it moved again. Yep. He's got him out of ammo. Here we go. That's a couple good hits. I guess he went to the far side. Let's see. Here we go. Sweet. Okay, that's it. It's gonna be really hard to get a A rank to get some awesome weapons. Ooh, must have a lot of money there. Okay. Long time no see, Walter. Looking good for a change. I see you've got a new augmented human. What happened to 617 and the rest? Their jobs. They did what it took to get us here. Huh. So how's the newcomer doing? Adequately. But Gen 4 augmentation can be unstable. We need to choose our battles. How's things on your end? I found the data our friends left behind. There's something promising in the watch point. I see you're back, 621. About the coral well that was found at Baus Arsenal number two. That was just a drip coming from an underground vein, and it won't last long. It's not the coral we're searching for. One more thing. I've sent you your next job. This one isn't from the corpse or the Liberation Front. You'll see when you check the briefing. Hmm, interesting. Walter is uh, getting a little mysterious on us here. We don't have a whole lot of money, so um, let me see. Nothing new in Arena. wonder if we've got some training we could do. Maybe we'll unlock some stuff. Um, Just go ahead and try it. Some weapons are capable of charge attacks, which exhibit different properties and behavior compared to regular attacks. R2, use right hand weapon, hold R2, right hand weapon charge attack, triangle to your charge, cancel. Okay. I see there's a little charging meter on the map too. That's nice. ACS attitude control system of a craft can be compromised by accumulated strain from the impact of repeated attacks. ACS overload results in a vulnerable state called stagger, during which time the affected craft will be immobilized and susceptible to critical damage. Hold R2, right hand, weapon charge attack. L2, use left hand weapon. Uh, 
During stagger, all incoming attacks treat as direct hits and deal much more damage. R2 use right hand weapon, L2 use left hand weapon, and R1 use right shoulder. Okay, cool. ACS strain inflicted on enemies resets after a brief interval, but a portion of that strain will remain. Weapons vary in the amount of accumulative strain they inflict, with explosive impact relieving the most ACS strain. R1, use right shoulder. Nice. Shield, so it's not really gonna help me in the fight. Attacks on enemies that are unaware of your presence will inflict greater ACS strain than usual. Then just a bunch of R1 right shoulder weapon multi lock attack. Got really good number on them. Okay. Shields equipped to left shoulder can be deployed, reducing coming damage and ACS strain. I don't think about the strain being anything that helps with you. That's cool. Ah, there's a weak spot with using this uh, charge shot. Is it takes on your shield. Shield output is maximized for one to two seconds after deployment. Blocking your initial guard window can help. Okay. Damn. <laughs> this is so relaxing. Assault boost attacks. During assault boost rush attacks, small arms that can be used during combat will inflict inflict greater impact and impact you see will be reduced. Salt boost, use right hand weapon and use left hand weapon. Okay. Yeah, I need to do that would work. Let's try again. There we go. I guess that's it. Oh, cool. LRO36 Curtis. Let's see if that's something I can buy now. Maybe it goes on a different part. There it is. Nice speed linear rifle. Okay. Wow, it's uh, quite a bit weaker. Uh, I guess that's what I was using in the training, though. Interesting. I wish you would tell me what the max amount is. I wonder if that attack power is the charge or not. Huh. Okay. Now, what is this thing? Pulse buckler. Cool. Wow, that looks cool. All right, let's see what else. Um, I think that, that might be it for now. We're at it in an hour. Just doing a little bit more looking before signing off. Um, this VP44S energy load has a higher demand, but everything else looks really pretty good. It would be... Would it put me in a shortfall, though? Yeah, looks like it. Well, I don't know. It's really close. Let's see how much better this is. Um, energy supply efficiency goes down. Everything else sounds so good, though. I want to go ahead and pick it. We'll see if we can make it work. So I'm probably going to spend the rest of the stream just 
checking out um, pieces of swap, so we'll see, and then we'll end after that. Okay, the current load, I'm still well within, the current energy, I'm still well, well within. So I've got a good head now, let's see if there's anything else I want to swap out. Um, oh, so for doing the training, I actually got this on the right arm. Interesting. I wonder if I got it for free for one arm, but I had to buy it for the other, maybe. Or this could be the gun that I started with. Maybe that's what it is. Let's see how this compares to the others I've got. Do have this awesome plasma rifle. I think I'll try to keep that on. Okay. Now, over here... We have energy shortfall, so I guess we're going to stick with our pulse blade and dual missile launcher. Heck yeah. I think I might do one more mission because I'm getting a really cool setup here now. So, change my mind. <laughs> um, all these are shortfalls if we switch. Let's see, 23, okay, and we'll stick with that, still a shortfall on that, so I still need to get that generator as soon as I can afford to, and that might be one more mission away. Actually, let's see, would I be able to do it now? Looks like I could. Hey, that might be what I want, okay. Um, okay, so let's do one more. I don't think I want to do the boss one again because I think I need to get something specific. So let's just do another mission. Attack the watch point. Eliminate the SG squad and the watch point and destroy the device in the control center at the heart of the complex. See me coming, my bright thing. And get to work. Main system activating combat mode. Okay, let's see where we're at. Oh, it's these turrets. AP at 
30%. No repair kits remaining. Wow. Okay, set one down. Good. Okay, that's down. Good. And then I've got to take on these other dudes too. Wow, I have no idea if I'll be able to beat this sortie. See how far we can get, and then we we'll start from me too. Where did that AC come from? What happened to the patrol squad? Oh, one uh, all units deploy for combat. You're exposed to snipers from all quarters. Keep moving, or they'll shoot you down. AP at 30%. Uh oh, let's see. require shielding. Let's see if it'll let me swap now. Oof. Let's do our... I think it was here. Yeah. And that might be enough. Okay. We didn't even make it to the checkpoint. Shoot. <laughs> Main system okay. Activating combat mode. Intruder sighted. It's it's just one AC. Who are they with? We can look into that later. Engage it. Okay, that took that one out. Bet I could get up there to this next one. Uh oh. At least we know we can survive the water. This is working out better. Not perfect, but definitely better. If I can just keep using cover, you're not that strong, so maybe that's what I'm gonna do. I might have to do it one more time, we'll see. Okay. Just gotta be methodical on that one. If you just rush through it, it's not gonna work. Got it. Okay. Now I might be able to do the same here. Where did that AC come from? What happened to the patrol squad? Code 1 All units deploy for combat. You're exposed to snipers from all quarters. Keep moving or they'll shoot you down. AP at 50%. Uh oh, I'm gonna fall off here. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I think I could still take this if I'm just careful. Okay, that helped a bit, but still took on a bit more damage than I'd like. Okay, I took out that big guy. Let's see about this other dude. Okay, he's nearly out. Largely stationary too. There we go. Right shoulder and 
ammunition at 50%. Okay, good. Let's see anybody else? I think I saw some value down there. Down there. Nice. Data. Or if I got a checkpoint. Okay, cool. Oops. Come on, Beaster. There we go. You see this that? looks like a boss fight. That's the watch points control center. The target's inside. Make mm. your way in. I wonder if I'll get a resupply or not. This is totally gonna be a boss fight. Attacking a watch point. You're incorrigible, Handler Walter. How many of your dogs must I kill before you learn? Hmm. Is that Sula? Pitiful dog. I feel sorry for you. I really do. You may have survived a little longer. But you had a different master. He's an impulsing on me. No repair kits remaining. He has a combat log too. Really done any damage to him. Give it another try or two, and if we don't get it once or twice more, and then may call it the stream. This guy seems pretty tough. Um, I think that if he's going to have a pulse breaker, I might as well have a missile launcher. And could that do anything else? Maybe the bazooka. Yeah. And. We'll swap out the right arm unit for something maybe a little bit more nimble, nimble if I can speak. Um, this has 112, so let's try it. Okay. This feels like possibly a better build for this kind of enemy. You see that? That's the watch points control ah, center. I have to go all the way back. Darn. The target's inside. Some of these missiles. Hey, our first AC ever. Doing a lot better at this setup. Taking up all my focus. Let's see how this. I had to get a charge shot on him pretty badly.
Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. I might get away with only using one repair kit. Nice. He wasn't as bad as I thought he was going to be. Just had to overwhelm with missiles. Cool. Forget about him, 621. You did good today. Back to work. Penetrate the control center and oh, more of a mission. Cool. I guess it makes sense since I didn't finish it. I thought for sure that'd be the end of the fight, but uh, that's cool. We'll get in here and we'll take care of business. Oh, another supply sherpa. Hmm. I'm guessing this means it's another boss fight, perhaps. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is gonna be something. Destroy the device in the center. I wonder if this is gonna be kinda like a strider when it's uh you know, a bunch of lasers and missiles and stuff. I bet it is since I already fought a mech. drama. Who are you? An older type of augmented human, fourth generation. Have we made contact? I am Air, a Rubiconian. Please, you must wake up. Before your consciousness is forever scattered in the coral flow. Raven, I've identified an approaching enemy. Oh boy. I'll synchronize with your brainwaves and maintain contact to support you. Okay. I don't think I'll be able to beat this without the pulse gun. I've seen it.
Switch an AR or something. Wow. I'm sorry, Raven. Man, that was tough. Let's try again. We'll uh, swap out a few parts. Okay. Let's do do this just to have something we can shoot constantly without worrying about it. Actually, we need to put on the poles. That's part of the problem. And we'll stick with the bazooka because we don't want to get too close to them. And I think a pulse shield may be a wise thing to do here. Um, okay, let's see if that's any better. Main system, reactivating combat mode. I've looked into the enemy craft. It's an autonomous PCA craft, Balteus. There we go. That gun's gonna make all the difference. Try to wait till his pulse armor is on. Uh, 